There is a need for the judiciary to be involved in the design and construction of magistrates' courts in Trinidad and Tobago. This from Court Executive Christy Ann Morris during a sitting of a Joint Select Committee in Parliament today, where she highlighted that buildings are to accommodate or that are to accommodate courts need to have specific requirements. She was adamant the judiciary's input is important. I recall on one occasion um, the then Chief Justice and, and I think I may have been Supreme Court Registrar at the time. We knew that a court building was being built in, in Princess Town when we got the invitation to the opening. Um, so, and that has been an example with all due respect. Looks pretty on the outside. People may say, oh, it's a nice clean building and it's two stories high. It has been an absolute nightmare to use as a court building. She revealed the Sangri Grande court is too small and they are awaiting approval to rent and outfit another building they have identified. She also explained why it is difficult to find suitable buildings to rent. This is the spans between columns. Most commercial buildings that you find now are built with 10 to 12 foot spans between columns. You cannot have a column in the middle of a courtroom. And therefore, most of the buildings we cannot use. 